could leave. Exactly. So, to do this problem, uh, remember guys, whenever we're solving inequalities, we want to treat them just like we're solving equations. So what you can do, a helpful little hint, is to draw your inequality symbol above it and replace it with an equals. All right? Then we simply just solve this by equals. Now, we're solving this by like an equation. Remember, to solve an equation, you can circle your variable and say, all right, what is happening to my variable? Well, you have your variable as being divided by 2 and it's being added by 5. So remember, we always undo addition and subtraction first. So to undo addition of 5, I need to subtract 5. All right, just a little side note. Remember, this is addition of 5 because this 5 is positive, not because there's this plus sign there. All right, so I subtract 5 on both sides. I get n over 2 equals 3. Now I need to undo, um, undo division of 2. So to undo divided by 2, I multiply by 2 on both sides. Therefore, I get n equals 6. All right? Um, so now I need to replace my sign. And remember, the one key rule that we talked about it was whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to flip the sign. Well, I multiply by 2, but that, since that's a positive 2, my sign is going to remain the same. So for here, I'm just going to make my own little number line. Remember, we go to our first point and make a nice big circle. Since this is greater than, we remember that greater than and less than are what we call open circles. As greater than or equal to and less than or equal to are what we call closed circles. And we showed you guys why that was when we did test points. Um, so here it's going to be an open circle, and this says all values n are greater than 6. So if I go in this direction or this direction, which one's going to provide the numbers that are greater than 6? We say all the numbers going to the right are greater than 6. So you can see your arrow goes to the right. Okay? And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.